that how do you delete duplicates from a database table using a SQL statement. So let's begin by looking at the solution. Now there are a few ways to achieve this and we'll be looking at the different ways in which we can delete the duplicates. So let's begin by looking at the data. So the data that we're going to be working with is a sample employee data. So I have a table called employee over here. And if you just select the data from the employee table, so I have some sample records and we can see that there are a few duplicates here on first name and last name. So I have this uh, record Adam Owens and I again have that record Adam Owens over here. So there are a few duplicates in this table. So to begin, let's see how we can identify these duplicates. So I've also done a video on this earlier and I'll be putting a link below if you want to see in more detail about how we can do this. But quickly, if you want to identify the duplicates in your database table, the only thing you need to do is group by all the key columns. So for example, in this particular table, we would identify the duplicates if there's any record which has the same first name and last name as any other record. So my key columns here are going to be first name and last name. So what I can do is just group by the first name and the last name columns and take account on that. So I'm going to include the first name and last name in the select statement itself and then use a group by command on the same column names first name and last name. So if I just run this query, then what I would get is all the distinct records and the count of those records. So I have some records like the Adam Owens record and the Natasha Lee record, which have a count of two, which means that there are multiple records with those key values and therefore there are duplicates in the table. Now to make it a little easier, what we can do is use the having clause. So I can just put having count star greater than one. And if I execute this query, I'll get only the records for which I have got duplicates in the table. So this is how I can identify the duplicates using the group by and having command. Now what if I need to remove those duplicates? If I need to remove these duplicates, then there has to be some way of identifying the, these duplicates. And the other thing that I need to do is to identify that which of the duplicate record I want to retain and which record I want to delete. So let's take a look back at the table. So our table is dbo.employee. And let's take a look at the data once again. So if you look at the data, you will see there's something called the employee ID. And then you have the other textual attributes like the first name and last name. So let's order by first name and last name to make it a little easier for us to manually view the duplicates. So now you can see that there are two records over here. And they have the same first name, last name, and even the phone and email addresses, but they have distinct employee IDs. So employee ID is mostly going to be an auto-generated ID column. So that would have distinct values. So what I can observe from here is that they have distinct ID values. And when I try to retain one of the duplicates and delete the other, I can do, I can base some logic based on the ID column. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to keep the record which has the larger employee ID. So out of these two, I'm going to keep the record which has the maximum employee ID. So in this case, this is going to be the record which has the employee ID of five. Looking at the other duplicates, we have this Natasha Lee. So one of them has the employee ID of three and the other one has the employee ID of six. So when I do a max, I should be keeping the this record which has the employee ID of six and deleting the one which has the employee ID of three. So let's put this into action. So what I've been talking all along is that I'm going to take a max of employee ID. So if I take a max of employee ID, so this is also and the first name and last name. 
and this is an aggregate function so obviously we need to use the group by command as well so group by first name and last name and we do not need the order by over here so just run this command so you can see over here that these are the records that I'm going to retain the remaining records I'm going to delete so for the duplicate records like the Adam Owens I'm going to keep the record which has the employee ID of 5 and for Natasha Lee as well I'm going to keep the record which has the max employee ID or the employee ID of 6 so now how do I frame that delete statement so what I'm going to do is simply use this as a sub query so I'm going to frame my delete statement on top of this so delete from the table where employee ID not in and then I'm going to use this as a sub query. And now if I execute this statement, okay, so we need to remove this first name and last name from here. And now if I execute this statement, you would see that two rows were affected, which means they deleted the duplicates. And now if I do just a select star from employee. I would see the distinct records. So the other duplicate records have been deleted and I can see only the distinct records. So this is one way of deleting the duplicates by using the max, either the max function, you can also use the min function. Uh, in terms of the field, if you do not have the ID field, then probably you have something like the last update date or timestamp or time field so if you have for example if it is a transaction data so you have multiple transactions coming in, in a day and you only want to retain the latest transaction uh, based on the timestamp then you can use the max transaction date over here or transaction timestamp over here so in those scenario, scenarios this would work but as you can see this is not a very effective uh, SQL query because for one we're using the not in command which is not very really efficient and we're using the sub query so it is going to have some performance hit so that's why we are going to now consider the second method of removing the duplicates let's look at the other way of deleting the duplicates now so in this approach we are going to use the rank or the row number functions which are analytical functions in sql language and we're also going to use another concept of cte or common table expressions which are kind of temporary tables and you might already be familiar with them so let's see how we can implement this so first let's see how the rank or the row number function works so let's write a select query and again select those columns first name and last name based on which we are identifying the duplicates so first name last name and now uh, let's use the row number function first so if you type row you can see here you get this function row underscore number and then just brackets and then you the way you write this is use the word over and then use bracket and use partition by so partitioning is basically your grouping so you're going to do this over your key columns which are first name and last name and then you're going to order by so we are going to order by the employee id and then we are going to either select the minimum employee id or the maximum employee id so if you had a timestamp field you could have used it over here order by employee id as row num and then the table name so our table is dpo dot employee one okay let's execute this query so if you execute this query you'll see that the values in row num for these duplicate records um, adam is one record and adam owens is two records so this would be more clear if you also take the employee id and execute this 
so you'll see that it has given it has ordered in the ascending order based on the employee id and then it has generated a row number for the record which has the list employee id the row number is one and then in the ascending order it has incremented it by one so one two and similarly for natasha you can see for employee id three which was the lower value the row number is one and then you have the row number of two so you can change this as well you can order in the descending manner and if you order in the descending manner what would happen is that now the row number one would be assigned to the maximum employee id that you have for that employee so employee id five is now row number one so you can change the direction in which you want to sort and this is the way you apply that function now there's a similar function which is the rank function there are some differences and we'll cover them in a separate video but for now if you use the rank function instead of row number it would work in a similar manner so if we use this rank function and execute this sql query you would get the same output over here so what this enables us to do is give us a way to identify the duplicates that we want to delete and the ones that we want to retain so now based on this rank i will decide that i want to keep the duplicate a record which has the lower rank so or the rank of one and i want to delete all other duplicate records which have a rank of greater than one and i can decide i can decide the order whether i want to order by in the ascending way or in the descending way and i can decide the field on which i want to order by so again taking the example of transactional records if i want to select a record which has the latest transaction timestamp i can order by the transaction timestamp in a descending manner and then uh, decide to keep the record which have the rank of one so this is how the rank and row number uh, functions work and okay so now let's see how we can use the ct in our example so ct is a common table expression and it's kind of a temporary table so how we can create it is by simply writing with and giving it a name so do we have employee data so employee and because we are creating a cte we are just appending cte to it so with use the keyword with and give a table name it doesn't need to have a cte included in it because just to make it easier to understand we are just appending the cte and then use the keyword as and then put this query within your brackets so now you have created a common table expression which has the results of this query so it has all the data from your employee one table and then it has created a rank or row number and then it has stored that rank in your table and now since we have the cte we just need to delete the duplicate record so we are going to write a delete statement so delete from and the cte name which is going to be employee underscore cte where and we're going to identify the duplicates based on the rank so we want to retain the records which have a rank of rank of one and we want to delete all the records which have a rank greater than one so all the duplicate records would be deleted and only the first unique record would be retained okay let's look at the records once again so we have these records in our table and we have some duplicates adam one employee id one and five and then we have duplicates on employee id three and six over here and now we have run this query we have created this query which should be removing the duplicates so let's execute this query and see how it works so execute this query and you can see that there are two rows affected so which should have been the duplicates and if i go back to my employee one table and do a select i'll be able to see that the that the duplicate records have been deleted so these are the two approaches in which you can delete duplicates from your database table i hope that this has been a helpful session and uh, in the coming sessions we'll be discussing many more scenario based sql query interview questions so stay tuned and have a good day goodbye